Hi everybody, I'm Greg Fischel and this is my first bonus weather education video, if you will. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the uh, uh, images that I showed, or some of the images I showed on my normal weather cast, and it was called the 90 degree potential map. And so there's one thing you may not be aware of is that the sun doesn't really actually heat the air at all. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty transparent to incoming solar radiation, so most of it just flies right on through. But what does happen is that the ground absorbs that solar radiation and heats up, and then it heats the air above it by the process of conduction, or contact, if you will. Once that happens, then the air that's been heated just above the ground begins to transfer that heat upward through the process of convection. And that's the same process that leads to thunderstorms during the uh, summer months, during the afternoon and evening hours, and other times of the year as well. And so basically the heat source is the ground, not the sun. Sun indirectly, but basically the ground is the heat source. So as you might expect, as you get farther and farther away from the heat source, it's not going to be as warm. So once you get up to around 5,000 feet above the uh, ground, and we're you know, pretty close to sea level in the triangle area, about three or 400 feet above sea level, it turns out that the temperature isn't going to change that much from day to day unless there's some system moving through. So it's more or less a constant, again, as long as there is a big weather system plowing through. And so you can make an estimate as to how warm it'll get at the surface based on what the temperature is at about 5,000 feet. Now the lapse rate uh, in temperature for a day that is fairly sunny is about five and a half degrees per thousand feet. So you take five times five and a half, you get 27 and a half, and let's shave off a half a degree for the fact that we're not quite at sea level here in the triangle. So 27 degree difference, uh, and so if it's 90 at the ground, that means at 5,000 feet it's got to be about 63. So if we take a look at this uh, map here, this is basically all the places where the temperature at about 5,000 feet is 63 or higher. So it's a potential for temperatures at the surface to get the 90 degrees or higher. It's not a guarantee. I mean, if there are clouds that are around or you get early thunderstorms that blow up around noontime and mess everything up, it doesn't account for any of that. But it basically gives you sort of an upper limit as to what temperatures could end up at uh, given a full complement or a nearly full complement of sunshine. So again, it's the fact that the temperature at about 5,000 feet is fairly constant, especially in the summertime, and so you can use that as a proxy to estimate how warm it can get at the ground, and then that gives us an idea as to what to predict for high temperatures on a given day. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Anyways, you can always watch the video again if it didn't, and uh, let me know if it's totally confusing. That's it for now, and we'll see you again on Friday with another bonus video.